Good evening. Thanks for joining us tonight. I'm Nadine Woodward. A Spokane Valley man is struggling to get the help he needs after a hit and run left him with a debilitating injury. 51 year old Kurt Vasica was hit at the intersection of Oberlin and 16th in Spokane Valley on November 14th. The KXY 4's Alyssa Donovan working for you tonight. And Alyssa Vasica trying to convince the person who hit him to turn themselves in. Well, that's right, Nadine. Vasica is a carpenter and now he's unable to work because of his injuries and unable to get support from the state unless the driver is apprehended. That's why he's asking whoever hit him t that night that they turn themselves in. And I was just crossing the road and uh, I remember a, a, you know, a loud thump and, and the hit. And the next thing I remember, I was in the middle of the road on my face and uh, I just started crawling for the edge of the road. The Spokane Valley Traffic Unit released this video of what could be the driver that hit Fasica a dark colored SUV with a light colored lower rocker panel. A citizen noticed this vehicle driving recklessly a few blocks ahead. The same citizen who stopped to help Vasica out of the road. I smacked my head really good um, and then uh, my leg got my leg got run over apparently. There's tire treads on the upper part of my leg but the lower part of my leg was just I guess mangled. Vasica says he's had a few surgeries already and will require more so that he can walk again. His doctor says he will not be able to work as a carpenter for at least a year. Without an apprehended driver, Vasica cannot get help from the state and will have no income, which is why he's asking this driver to come forward. Whoever hit me is probably scared, but it'd be better and easier for you to, uh, and I'm asking you to, to turn yourself in. Um, because it's the right thing to do. Investigators believe the vehicle involved would have damage to the front end or right end from impact with the victim. Investigators are asking drivers or anyone with information who can help identify the vehicle to contact Crime Check at 456-2233. Reporting in the studio tonight, Alyssa Donovan, KXLY 4 News. Thank you.